morning and welcome back to another caravan video. Now in this video we're going to replay the spongy floor. Sure, get everything off the carpet so it's all freed up. So the floor spongy in a couple of places. I probably won't show up too well on camera. It's about one area is about here, so I'll just do this whole area. Just, just uh, going in towards the seating area and up to the uh, to the fire, and that should cover that area. And the next area is a bit somewhere down here and find it again here we go just in front of this partition so again I do just do all this area uh, sort of to edge of this uh, the cooker unit all round here probably in line with this with this bit so the first thing I need to do is get this carpet up uh, unfortunately fortunately in this caravan the carpet does not extend under it, I don't know what you can see what you see is that the whole, the whole carpet, some people, some manufacturers will lay the carpet down over the entire floor area and then put the units on top but it's not the case with this particular caravan so better start getting this carpet up I made this interesting discovery as I was pulling the carpet up and I found out it's uh, something being spot glowing it around the edges which I think I might do when I when the time comes to put it all back I found this, it looks like somebody's been here before because there's uh, copies of a motorcycle news from 25th of February 2004 so it looks like somebody's had this carpet up before me don't know why anyway, I'll keep on uh, pulling this bit of carpet up well, 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 what have we here? I pulled up the newspaper and if you can tell it looks like it's been done before so that's going to make my job a bit easier so what I think I'll do is I'll uh, I'll redo this I mean it's round here where it's spongy so the repair hasn't lasted uh, the newspapers out to go by it was done in be the beginning of 2004 and unfortunately some of it started to fail again so I think it's just a matter of uh, drilling out these dowels but that's, that's just made my job a bit easier I'll do this bit and then I'll have to pull up the carpet at this end. But yeah, that's made my job a lot easier. I know where to drill now. Right, time to pull up the carpet at this end now. I need to take it off, that's for the table. So that should just unscrew. Well, I've left uh, pulling up that back carpet for now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill through all these dowels. Uh, I've got my 8mm drill bit and I'm using this as a depth stop so I've put it with this socket so there's about four centimeters sticking out which is about the depth you want to go on this so time to start drilling and I'll whiz it through from here so I'll just feel the spongy if you can feel it I just can you can you hear the hair the air hissing out so obviously this repair has failed so what I'll do is I'll drill there and come right back to here and that should cover it all. So right, I'm definitely going to start using it through from here. <laughs>
holes I need to drill out so I'll clean everything up I uh, had a bit of difficulty with, with the back carpet so I might have to pull the carpet all the way back and I'll get back to you whenever I've cleaned it all up and it's the same situation at this end of the caravan it's, it's been done before and the repairs obviously have failed and the sponginess is around here so just re-drill the holes all here and I'll was it from, from this point on to drill obviously I've drilled a larger area where where the sponginess is so once it's all done it should be a nice solid repair so I'll get this cleaned up and then we can start filling the holes up with the resin. Well, I've got the resin and I've got the dowels. I've got these both for Amazon so I'll put up Amazon affiliate links in the description so you know to help support my channel please click on the affiliate links and buy from them it doesn't cost you any more but I get a small percentage and like I say it helps my channel out and need all the help I can get so we'll start filling these holes in with the resin so the first thing you need to do is cut the top off this and there we go and start putting resin in these holes I'll always it on from here film all of it but the trick is is you, you pour the resin in the holes until it comes to the top and you leave it and then it'll sink down as the air comes out and once you've got as much resin in as you can you just put the dowels in and just leave it for 24 hours literally walk away leave it and then that's a job done so I'm not going to film any more and I'll show you when, we, when it's done so I've done all the front end of that and as you can see there's excess uh, resin coming out through where I put the dowels in, it's gone up the side and you can see all air bubbles coming out of it so just leave that for 24 hours to set and then that's the floor repaired so I'm going to do the same down here and I'll let you know whenever I've finished. I've got it all done and uh, as you can see the excess resin and the air is actually seeping out so we we'll need to leave this we we'll literally have to walk away from it leave it for 24 hours at least and then uh, we'll come back to it and uh, we'll finish it off we'll have to uh, clean it all up and trim off the ends of the dowels once that's done carpet can go back down so I'll come back to you when we're ready to do that it's now the next day and it's all it's all dried up you can see where the excess resins are come out and just what I need to do is uh, scrape it all off probably and cut off the uh, dowels that are sticking out because some of these didn't go all the way in like this one so I've got a selection of tools, got a hacksaw should be able to cut off, cut off the end, ends of the dowels that are sticking out I won't film all this bit because it'll be boring so I'll get this all, all uh, cleaned up, scraped off and clean it up and then we'll start laying this carpet back down. Uh, I've got some of it done, I've got this bit finished and I'm still not quite done here because every single dowel is sticking up and I'm having to trim the top of every dowel, it's just a pain in the ass and time consuming. It's now half past seven, storage uh, place shuts in half an hour, so I'm going to have to leave it for tonight and carry on another time. 
Welcome to day three of this little saga. Um, it says, uh, you said I couldn't get finishing time up to get up before the storage place closes. Uh, what was taking the time is these dowels, you can see it's a bit sticking up, so I need to cut it off flush like that. So I'll just put the camera down and I'll show you how I do it. So what I do is I get the hacksaw blade just on its own. Just lay it down on there, just so do it like that. <coughs> and that cuts it off flush. And what, what I'll do is once I've cut them all down, I'm gonna sand them over. And that, that's basically how I do it, but every single dowel was sticking out in some shape or form, and that's what's taking all the time. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll finish off, finish a cutting all these dowels off flush and then I'll get back to you when I've done okay I'm all done it's cleaned up as much as I can fortunately I don't have a vacuum I've no electrical power in here just a just a 12 volts from the leisure battery and anyway, right got me contact adhesive so I'm just gonna give it a spray around the edges and then roll the carpet into place so probably was it from here down just need to tuck it in, in places but it's carpets back down so I'll just finish it all the little bits off camera I'm not gonna bore you with it and then I'll show you when it's all done well that wraps it up for this video fix the floor total cost for about I think 30 quid so not bad you want too bad a job um, it had been done before when the caravan was 10 years old so the repairs actually lasted longer than the original floor anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and hope it helps you repairing your caravan floor when it's a uh, spongy so anyway please remember to like subscribe and share questions and comments you know where to put them as ever thanks for watching and i'll see you there.